the Channel Dash Operation Cerebus, 11th to 13th of February 1942. Having been bottled up in the French port of Brest, the German battle fleet, consisting of the pocket battleships Schoenhorst and Gisnell and heavy cruiser Prince Eugene, destroyers, schnellboats and every aircraft Germany could put into the sky progressed unseen up the English Channel. The British had expected this, but a series of unfortunate events resulted in the German battle fleet sailing for over 300 miles along the English Channel towards the Straits of Dover undetected. The coastal batteries around Dover were the first British units to attack the German fleet. Visibility was less than five miles. Only one battery was equipped with radar and unable to detect the fall of shot to adjust their range, all shells missed. The British motor torpedo boats had been deployed elsewhere and only five were available. Regardless, they raced out to attack the German battleships. Visibility was poor, the sea rough, and under heavy attack from the air and surface vessels, all torpedoes missed. Next to attack the German battle fleet were the gallant fairy sawfish torpedo biplanes. Most of the Spitfire cover had not arrived as the torpedo planes climbed slowly into the sky. Outdated and slow, the fairy swordfish attacked the German battle fleet against impossible odds. Every single anti-aircraft gun from the escorting destroyers and battleships opened up on the approaching swordfish. Messerschmitt's 109s fired their cannons at the swordfish from above. The swordfish flew into a hellish wall of fire, never to be seen again. Of those 18 brave young men, only five survived, and only one was not wounded. In snowbound airfields around the southeast coast of England, Crews raced to arm and fuel bombers, but most would not find their targets in the poor weather and gathering night. The Shenes and Harwich destroyers, completely outclassed and outgunned by the titanic German battle fleet, set off in pursuit. HMS Five H's and Campbell, based at Shenes, and HMS Worcester, Whitshed and Mackay, based at Harwich, set a course to intercept the German battle fleet. The Chenes Hunt class destroyers followed in their wake, but would later lose the German fleet in poor weather and darkness and were ordered to return to port. Incredibly, the RAF had not been informed that British destroyers were operating in the North Sea and RAF Hamdens attacked the British destroyers, demonstrating great restraint, the destroyers did not return fire. In an epic David and Goliath battle, destroyers from Shenis and Harwich attacked the giant German battle fleet. In true Royal Navy tradition, battle ensigns were hoisted as unhesitantly the British destroyers attacked the more powerful and larger German fleet. The German pocket battleships had 13.8 inches of armour plate and 11 inch guns. The British destroyers had no armour plate and four inch guns. Through a murderous barrage, the British destroyers closed to within 2,500 yards and fired their torpedoes. The Worcester stopped dead in the water, hit by three 11 inch shells and five 8 inch shells, with 26 of her crew killed and 45 injured. Shenis destroyers HMS Campbell and HMS Vivacious manoeuvred to rescue men in the sea and take wounded off the Worcester. Unbelievably, the British destroyers were again attacked by British Beaufort torpedo bombers with HMS Campbell and HMS Vivacious narrowly escaping being torpedoed. The Shenis destroyers, HMS Campbell and HMS Vivacious, the Davids, which fought the German Goliaths.